Hey YouTube, it's Audrey. I wanted to show you a project that I had did. Well, it's not really a project, but it is a swap that I am doing with Sloane, who is Miss Sad64 here on YouTube. She had saw a comment that I had put on, um, I can't remember whose video now, but I had said that, you know, after the swap, um, we just did with Tamika with the gift sets where we had to make stick pins that you know after my first swap which was um the one tamika hosted last year with the dress form stick pin card challenge swap um that i had gone out and i had bought a lot of beads after it and had made another stick pin since um that swap into the one we just did so um Sloan said she had a lot of beads too, so um, we decided that we would do a stick pin swap. So these are the stick pin swaps and the little holder that I made for it. And Sloan said that we would just do five stick pins and no extras. And Sloan, please forgive me because there are a few extras in here, so don't get upset. I just wanted to put a couple things in the little holder that I hope you could use and I ended up doing six stick pins and originally we were going to do pastels and I didn't have a lot of pastels and Sloan told me not to go and buy anything and I said okay but I did end up going to buy some but it wasn't because of the challenge Sloan it really wasn't it's because they were on sale and they were so cute and I wanted them so I ended up with some pastel beads so there are some pastels and then some jewel tones in here too but i got one of the dollar um or two dollar i'm sorry um bird cages and i just added just a little bit of white organza trim and um some iridescent beads in the center now this is the first time I've tried to do something like this and the, I use hot glue and it was an experience. Um, I'll have to get a little better with that. So Sloan is not perfect, but it's still pretty cute. Then what I did to add the cushion, I just had some white satin um, in my fabric stash because I sew and I stuffed it with some polyfill and then kind of sewed it together stuffed it in there and then put a piece of cardboard that i had cut out and i painted it kind of a white frost on the inside again i won't open it since i had the stick pins in there but um on the underside it's in there and um i painted it to hold that in and then i hot glued it into place so here are the stick pins um i did purple green two blues um and a pink and then like a clear with pink crystals so i'll kind of just move it around and kind of show you the stick pins um with the blue one i use one of those aluminum rose caps and it has pearl top and a lot of these beads came from all over. I mean, some of them are from um, Joann's. Some of them are from Walmart. Some of them I got from, um, I think it's Craft Supplies 1 on um, Etsy. And with the tops of the pins, like with this one, they're all this clear crystal pin they're floral floral pins that i got from joann's but with this one i used um a copics to make it green to match with this one i made it purple to match then for the two that i use with pearls um well actually i use three because there's a pearl center in there but these two i also use copics to make them pink and kind of an aqua color and I kind of like this one because it had gold instead of the actual um, silver that you see so often with blue. So, um, 
that's what I made and I'm off to take it to the post office and when you see this video Sloan will have already received this so I won't put this up until she gets it but Sloan I really hope that you like them I'm looking forward to getting what you made because Sloan told me that she had come up with some new stick pins that I'm sure we haven't seen before so I'm excited to get mine so um once she once we both receive them we'll put up the videos but anyway this is the swap i did and thank you so much for stopping by and watching and as always you have a great and very very blessed day